Hi, I'm Tim Robo, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today's build day, who knows? Just about done, though. Um, pushing hard for about the last two weeks, so I haven't got you guys a video. But uh, after a couple phone calls and a lot of messaging, um, here is what I've gotten done. So you can see this front section that uh, had the bow in it. And what I did is I put on, uh, pulled everything apart and put some straight uh, tubing that goes this way, this way, and then you can see where the screws are at. And that still really wasn't good enough. Um, I had some spots here in the center that needed to be shrank. Um, no way to really do that with a painted panel. Uh, so I went with stretching. Um, all of this is stretched in to make kind of like a recess. And I just took a panel and um, put those put those on both sides, and um, it seemed to work out pretty good. I'm I'm happy with it. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a final day of doing a trim and some detail work. But uh, I got my fuel cans, everything, fire extinguisher, everything is kind of ready to go. Uh, the plan is is. Uh, for me to be uh, able to leave Saturday morning. It's Thursday night right now, so I got some details to handle. Uh, I need to put a battery in it and wire up the tail lights. But other than that, I got the inside pretty much ready to go. Um, I took a little bit of time right now just to um, shoot this video as I'm waiting on this polyurethane. I did like a third coat up on the top of this uh, cabinet and kind of uh, I've discovered that I like poly on the sealant also. Poly really does a good job of uh, sealing things up really nice. So right here you may notice I have my shower and that is in place and that is an eco temp and it's plumbed in with the uh, the pump that is the uh, same pump that runs the sink and I'll have the propane line will just drop down here and it drops down and it'll come down into this bottom of the cabinet and right there's the hose um, some of you that are kind of slick and pay attention you can notice that I have an adapter that will allow me to run a, uh, a one gallon bottle on it um, I want to do that just to keep weight down I have a refill station uh, so I can take the one pound bottles uh, plan is to carry three uh, one for the stove, one for the heater, and one for the barbecue grill. Uh, still got a lot of push. I probably have 12 to 16 hours to go tomorrow. Uh, I still have yet to have a motorcycle in here. So uh, i got to figure out where I'm going to tie that down. I think I'm going to soft tie off of the uh, corner of the couch. It's welded in as a structure, structural member. Uh, the couch is in. Everything is a little bit uh, sawdusty. But uh, the couch is in, it's super comfortable. I ordered these uh, 26 by 26 uh, pillows and uh, they're, they're super nice. Um, I ended up having to get a uh, new mattress because I used the memory foam mattress for, this, uh, for, the, for the couch that folds up and that ended up being really nice. So I ordered another one and uh, man, lo and behold, it went down in price uh, on Amazon. It went from like 130 bucks to 97. So um, I got another one of these. This is a, on a taper. It's 44 uh, wide and tapers down to 33. And it's uh, it's on a piece of plywood. So it's, it's not mounted firm. Um, so you can kind of set it up. Uh, I got all my electrical panel in, so we are currently charging on solar, although the panels are super dirty. I've had the lights in, on in here all day long, and uh, the difference is, is it goes from like 13.2 to 13.3, so it's using uh, one-tenth of a uh, volt to do that. So uh, super happy with that. I got my uh, receiver mounted for my dish. Um, I also have the, uh, everything is on a switch on this. So uh, this is for the back lights are wired in. Uh, this is the fans is on a switch. So no power goes to anything until um, I hit this master panel and that's kind of how I wanted it. Um, everything turned out really nice. I did end up putting a coat of polyurethane on top of the, uh, the refrigerator that uh, it went down really nice and gave it a nice, really nice sheen. So just a little bit more work to do inside, like maybe 10, 20 minutes worth. Um, 
I got to get the headliner up. I already got a piece cut for that down here. That's going to get screwed in place uh, probably first thing in the morning. I don't want to get some dust um, sticking in this poly. So uh, a wise thing to do right now is shoot a video, go upload the video, and relax for the rest of the evening, and then hit it hard in the morning again. Um, it's Friday. So I wanted to leave tomorrow morning to my uh, trials event, and then from there I'm going to Bullhead City to see my dad for the week. So we're at a spot where uh, I think I can do it. Hopefully the springs and everything on this uh, are going to be okay. I'm sitting about a, maybe an inch and a half from the bump stops. Um, when I get back from this trip, I'll be taking this down to Atlas Springs and getting my new springs dialed in. Uh, but just a little bit more uh, things to do. I have not built the box up front to cover all of this yet um, That's coming so that'll clean all that up and make kind of some of that wiring look a little better uh, And I have not built a uh, garbage can for the back, uh, but this little plastic one it fits it fits in there So I'll have to empty that and get that going. But uh, for me, I love how everything turned out um, I got you know a bunch of blankets and things uh, Looks like uh, out at the desert, it's gonna be about 51 degrees, so I wanted to make sure I'm gonna stay warm. Um, I have ditched the sleeping bags for now. Um, doesn't look like I'm going to uh, go to a sleeping bag. I'm gonna go, go to a uh, like a sheet, another sheet, and then one of these, um, I don't know what this stuff is called. I think it's fleece, but it's super lightweight and super warm. And then I have this cool bed spread that's also really lightweight and uh, really warm so uh, that's all I'll do uh, my drawer turned out really well it's kind of hidden uh, in there uh, if I had sharper scissors I wouldn't have this line there but still little details to uh, to cut out but this drawer pulls out uh, a full four feet I don't want to do that to get to any dust or anything uh, to, to sit on the poly but uh, that turned out really well and uh, everything just kind of uh, set up really, uh, really nice. I, I ran, this is the only power that goes to this side of the, uh, the coach. Um, I ran this, it's of course on a switch also. So it's got uh, a cigarette lighter uh, that'll run my fan down there. There's also two cigarette lighters up here. And then there's uh, double uh, USB ports in each one of these things. So. Uh, charging laptops and uh, whatever you need to charge speakers and cell phones and everything I'm pretty set on that um, so far so much power it's not even funny the uh, refrigerator is wired in um, everything's uh, running on that uh, it's currently off but uh, tested that out today everything worked good kind of summed all of this up and uh, that's about it uh, TV um, you know turned out really well it's got that little uh, protective uh, plastic I can see I missed on the bottom one but uh, I'll get that taken care of for now it's gonna be uh, an outside shower um, all set up so we'll figure out how I'm gonna do that that's still gonna be a work in progress um, no problem with showering on the ramp um, I don't know about privacy as of right now if I'm gonna put up a tent or just use a bathing suit for out in the desert right now I got no problem with just putting a bathing suit on and showering off get the dirt off of me and go from there but uh, super happy with how everything's turned out it's been a long haul and I am worn out uh, for the last two weeks I've done anywhere between 10 and 12 hour days really um, I say pushing but I'm taking my time to do the job right um, as you know I'm not afraid to try something, and I'm also not afraid to, afraid to say that, hey, I failed on this. Let's pull it apart, and let's make it right. So I've done that. Uh, oh, um, why I'm thinking about pulling stuff apart, I did ended up, uh, end up carpeting all of this area up front. So the whole nose is carpeted. And little things to do, like the trim for the, uh, the panels. I haven't uh, painted those up or installed that yet, but... Uh, here again everything is kind of coming together um, I'll call this inside area right here uh, maybe 95% done a uh, little bit of organization and uh, everything sink runs drains fine um, pumps uh, water to the shower um, I haven't uh, checked the shower out to see if it actually uh, is heating up or not but uh, I've had uh, a couple of these before and they're pretty reliable 
Um, I don't really like how this kind of hangs off, but um, for packaging, you know, you got to remember this used to be a five foot bed and now we're seven and a half feet uh, to here and then this is eight from the uh, from the cab so we're uh, physically three feet longer than we used to be and uh, got a full uh, full service RV you know the uh, uh, porta potties down there I got my Coleman uh, heater I went back to the Coleman from the uh, little buddy uh, I just feel the Coleman does a better job and it's got a little blower motor in it also that just kind of blows the heat but uh, yeah we're set up ready to go once again the couch or futon whatever you want to call it it folds up out of the way you can stow the pillows up there so it gives you more room I think I could probably get uh, I know I can at least get one full-size motorcycle and one small motorcycle in here I may be able to get two full-size motorcycles maybe one in forward and one in back uh, I have not put in my uh, my hooks yet for uh, anchoring things down so we'll see how that goes but uh more to come on uh, on the project uh, probably the next video i'm going to shoot is going to be out in the desert where we're looking at uh, things that, that'll be about uh we'll say 90 percent done with the uh with the rig so have a front bumper to fabricate and a winch to put on um and then when i'm all done with the springs and everything i gotta go run it down to uh, justin at uh tire pros down here in San Bernardino and he's got to finish the uh, plumbing the tanks for the ARB and um, getting my ARB uh, air locker in the rear to work so um, that's it for now uh, I'm worn out uh, I'm gonna go uh, upload this and uh, take it easy for the rest of the night thank you guys for watching I appreciate each and every one of you especially the ones that check on me and say hey we haven't seen you in a while is everything okay yeah, everything's been good. I've just had my nose to the grindstone and really trying to hammer this thing out. And once again, I do love uh, how everything really turned out. Um, I couldn't be happier. It's what I had in my mind from the beginning. And I know a lot of you were out there thinking I was crazy to cut up a $40,000 truck to try to make it something a little bit different. But uh, I think I pulled it off. Um, at this point, I'm super optimistic about it. And uh, hope to shoot a uh, video Saturday, uh, maybe afternoon out in the desert, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Tim Roble. Catch you here next time.